A variety of products are produced out of recycled materials here in Manchet Nasser, where more than 20 females work in the Association for Protection of the Environment to earn their living. Hanan, a wife and a mother, has been working in the rug weaving section since she was a little girl to help her father and seven sisters. Now she is working to support her own family. <laughs> What distinguishes this non-profit organization is its cleanliness and green area, although it's located in the same neighborhood where most of Cairo's garbage is assembled. You can spot the difference between the two sides of the gates once you step foot inside. The project began with the rug weaving initiative and its success led to the expansion of other products by providing the workers with raw materials and marketing the products locally and internationally. I told you we had some special stuff lined up. Um, so far from what I'm seeing, I think it's really cool and it's really helping the environment and just the fact that it's um, all recycled products, that we don't have any waste. I think that's incredible work and it just, it's just so good for our future. The jeans cut them up to make an idea game for Christmas. The word spread on this organization, which made it an attraction for people from all over the world to come and visit. لهم أصدقاء في مصر وخارج مصر ممكن بيساعدونا نصدر لأمريكا لكندا ممكن يساعدونا نعمل بزارات في السفارات وبعض الأماكن المعينة في مصر Yusreya Sawiris has dedicated this organization to the improvement of the livelihoods of the garbage collector communities. أول حد عمل بدأ في تأسيس الجمعية كان من أهم الأفراد كان مدام يسريا لوزا مامة البشمهندس نجيب ساويرس هي أول الناس اللي بدأت هنا مع رهبة فرنسية اسمها إيمانويل رهبة دي فرنسوية جت بدأت في الحي دوت من زمان كان الحي عبارة عن عيشة الصفيح والناس عيشة وشغالة لكن هي جت عشان تساعد الحي دوت علشان خاطر يبدأوا يتوصل لهم مية كهرباء تبني لهم أوضة بحمام علشان تفرق ما بينهم ما بين الشغل وكده من الوقت ده الناس بدأت تبني وبدأت عادة التدوير مع الكهرباء من الثمانينة Christmas is almost here and these ladies are working on decorations not the trees nor the normal jingle bells but the Nespresso capsules which are donated to the organization along with gift wraps that are made of recycled papers. Just like any other job environment, the question of safety measurements will always be raised. Hanen, who has been working in the organization for the past 16 years, had to rush to the hospital on her own to save her nine-year-old girl, Mariam, as she got burned with boiling water while they were preparing the recycled papers in the organization. As much as these women benefit from the organization, the question is, why aren't these ladies insured, and how can we guarantee their well-being? This is Pasantil Gayor from the Association of Protection of the Environment, AUC-TV.